Hello, my name is Casey Quisenberry, and today I'm going to show you two simple ways of doing random number generation in Unreal 5. So this isn't a tutorial you really have to follow along. It's more of just to show you the concepts of how to do it so you can implement it within your own code. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get an input just so that we have something to actually run the random number generation. So I'm going to get the R key, you know, R for random. So for the first method, the node that really makes this work is a random int in range. Make sure you don't get 64 int because those are a little different. So just get random integer in range. You can also use a float, but I just think that personally that random integers are the best thing to do when doing with odds. So the way this works is going to pick a random number between the minimum value and the maximum value. So right now it only get you zero. So let's set it up like it's a dice so, or a die. So we're going to do one and six. Now the important thing to note is it's going to include the minimum value and the maximum value. So it's going to select a random number between 1 and 6, but also include 1 and 6. So to show this off, we're just, I'm just going to print a string. And I'm just going to plug in the return value of this node to basically show you what's happening every time it's ran. So we're just going to plug that in there. All right. So if we go into here, we hit R. You see it gave us a 6 in the top left corner. 4, 3, 6, 2... 3, 1, 3, 2, 6. So you see every single time it's giving us a random number in this value. So if we want something to happen at a certain value, all we have to do is add a Boolean. So what we can do here is we can get an equal. So basically right now is that if the return value equals this number, it is going to be true. So let's set this to 6. And then we're just going to put this over here. And then for the true, let's do something that's going to be visually interesting to, to watch. So let's do launch character. This is a note that basically just eats your character whatever direction you want. Usually you need to get like a, a forward vector, but I'm just going to put in some random numbers here just to show off the random number generation. Don't worry about this note too much. It's mostly just for fun. So again, to go over it again, it's going to give us a random integer. And if that random integer is equal to six, it's going to run this code. If not, we're going to do nothing. So I'm going to press play. Now I'm going to hit R. It does nothing. R does nothing. R does nothing. R, R. And then there we go. So we just got a six, which launched our character way, way over here. So as you can see, that's one way to do random number generation. Uh, you can also do something like greater than, so if you want it to be where it's a certain range. So let's say that we're doing a full set of dice. You know, we're doing 1 to 12. And then let's just say if it's greater than or equal to something like 8, then we're going to run this code. You can also do less than. I personally just think greater than makes more sense. But you can also do less than or less or just greater. But we're going to do greater than equal. So I hit R, nothing happens, R, nothing happens, R, and then there we go. We launch our character way over here. So there you go. That's the first method of doing random number generation. Let's do the second one real quick. So the next one is basically the same concept. We're going to need the same node of random int in range. We're going to need this node. However, there's another node that we can do called switch on int. And right now it doesn't look like much that's because we need to do a little bit of setup. So let's again, let's just do dice numbers. Let's just say one, or actually no, we should do zero. Let's do zero to five because that's similar to dice. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to give you different outputs. So here we have zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So basically we're going to go off this node point if it's this number. So hypothetically, if we get a random number generation and it's a zero, we go here. If it's a one, we go here, two, here, three, here, four, here, five, here. So we're just going to go off. Don't worry about default. As long as you have the setup properly, uh, default will never run. So again, so right now we have it to where a random number goes here and then it selects one of these random nodes. So again, I'm just going to put some fun stuff here real quick for us to look at to see how this works. All right, so I set up some things here. So if it's a 0 or 1, we're going to launch our character. If it's a 2 or 3, we're going to set a different material for our character. And if it's a 4 or a 5, we're just going to destroy the character. So it's important to note is you can make a bunch of different odd scenarios just with these nodes. So right now, everything has an equal chance of happening. But hypothetically, say I wanted launch character to be the most probable. We just go up here. And now we have a much more probable scenario of it going to launch character rather than set material. 
So we're gonna go here and I'm just gonna show it off. So I hit R, you see it's changed the material of the character, it's not compiling, but it changed the material and then it destroyed the actor. So that means we got a two or a three and then a four or five. So let's run it again. We hit R, we launch a character, which meaning we got a one or a two and then we got a two or three and then we got a four or five. So as you can see here, there's just like different things you can do depending on numbers. The thing I mostly use this for is say loot drop. If an enemy you want to drop loot, I have it to where like it drops ammo or it drops health or it drops nothing. And you can set the odds for that. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is, is how to combine them. So say hypothetically, we want something that's very rare chance of happening, but then once it happens, we want one of a couple things to happen. We can easily combine them. So let's put a branch here. Let's copy this node. You don't want it to be the same as these two because then it'll be the same number, which means it'll be weird every time. So we're gonna do here, let's do equal equal. And let's say it has a one, uh, one in three chance of happening because it's zero and two, and let's say it has to be a two. So what this basically means is that if we get a two, that means it's gonna be true, and then we're going to get another random set of numbers to decide which one of these paths we're gonna do. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. And then there we go. So what happened is we just got a two. So to break that down, we, we got a two here, which meant this was true. And then we got a one, two, a zero, one or two that went into here. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Again, I just wanted to go over some basic concepts of how to do random number generation in Unreal 5. You can again use this for a variety of things such as ammo drops, health drops. You can potentially spawn random objects, spawn enemies at random points and random events. This can basically just allow you to do any sort of thing that you want, but make it to where it's random number generation. So I hope you learned a lot about the two simple ways to do random number generation in Unreal 5.